We close our eyes so that we can focus full attention on the breath. You don't want to be gazing around while you're trying to learn about the breath, because this is a skill that you're going to need not only while you're here, but also when you're out in the world. And out in the world you have lots of other things pulling your attention in different directions. So it's good to have some time where you're not being pulled, or pulled as little as possible. So close your eyes and be sensitive to the breath. Talk to yourself about the breath. This is called directed thought and evaluation. You direct your thoughts to the breathing and then you evaluate how well the breathing is going. Is it, is it comfortable? Is it not? If it's not comfortable, what could you do to make it more comfortable? When it is comfortable, what can you do to maintain that sense of comfort so it doesn't just go away? And then how can you let it spread? You're going to have to hold some perceptions in mind about the breath energy filling the body and breath channels being open so the breath can go anywhere you want. What you're doing is developing what the Buddha calls the three kinds of fabrication, bodily, verbal, and mental, to create a sense of well-being inside. That's the basic message he gives, is that no matter what's coming in from outside, you don't have to suffer totally from it. I mean, there are pains in the world, painful things happen, but you don't have to add to the pain. And the important thing is that the suffering that weighs down the mind is what you add. So you get more sensitive to how you breathe, you get more sensitive to how you talk to yourself, you get more sensitive to the images you hold in mind that, with which you label things. And then you realize you have some choices. You have some choices as to what you want, how you want to shape things in your life. We come to the monastery, it's a nice, quiet place to be. But you can't take the monastery with you, but you can take these skills with you. Think of them as the Buddha's present to yourself. He gives you new ways of breathing, new ways of talking to yourself, new ways of imaging things to yourself. Of course, you're not confined to what he gives, but you get the basic ideas, you get the basic principles, and then you can make variations on them. But the important thing is that you're going to be carrying some skills with you. So make sure you master the skills, and then you put them to use. All too often we meditate when we feel like it and not when we don't feel like it. But it's something you've got to do every day, because your mind can create suffering for itself any time of the day, any day or night. And you want to have your tools prepared, you want to have your skills ready, so that whatever comes up, you know how to deal with it. You learn to be more self-reliant, you learn to be your own friend. So when thoughts come up that you don't like, or you know that are bad for you, you don't have to get sucked into them. You can take them apart, see how you're breathing, see how you're talking to yourself around those thoughts, and breathe in new ways, talk to yourself in new ways, hold new perceptions in mind. When you do this, you've got your skills ready, so the mind can be its own best friend. And when your mind is its own best friend, okay, then you can live in the world and not suffer from the world. So try to master these skills as best as you can.